Yeah, how's it going everyone in today's video we're going to create a drop down select menu this was actually requested from a user I'm going to put his name up here and he requested a drop down select menu with from where which you can select country state cities and zip codes so this is the project this is completely done using html css and javascript and it looks like following at the beginning you have everything deselected and you can select from two countries i just included the us and germany so let's go with the us then you can select the state now this will only recognize states that are in the us if i would have selected germany for example you can see in the states we have bavaria and hessen now let's go back to the us let's select for example texas and then we can select dallas or austin let's say and then a specific zip code from there the same thing you could do for Germany. Let's say we select Bavaria, then Munich, and we can select some kind of zip code from Munich. Okay, so pretty simple, but fun project. The code is down in the description below as always, but also please go to the blog post and copy the starter code because I'm not going to do the HTML, which is extremely boring. Just a couple of selects and also the CSS is extremely simple. So let's go ahead and start the project. Now, by starting a project, let's first of all create an index.html file. And let's start a boilerplate. If the boilerplate is not working for you, then I have a video where I fixed it uh, just a couple of videos back. Actually, I think it's only two videos back. Now, let me also remove my face. This is totally unnecessary. Boom. There we go. Okay, so let's get started by creating our index file, our HTML boilerplate, and then just copy in the code from HTML. Also, I'm going to make this a bit smaller and this a bit smaller. Okay, down here, we need to include our JavaScript file, but first let's take care of the CSS. So let's create another file. Let's call this style.css. Let's include it in our HTML file right before our title. So link and style.css. Let's also right click, open with live server and have it on the right side opened. And now let's go ahead and copy in the CSS. And I'm also going to go over the CSS and HTML. So first of all, the CSS is going to do a general reset using the star selector of padding, margin, and assign some kind of font family. You can change this obviously to something else. Then the H1 is just going to have a margin to the top and the text align to the center. And there we go, it's already taking place. The background color of the body will be a hexadecimal FAA and the drop downs, uh, the drop down group, which is, if I could close this one up. The drop down group is the class of a form. Now, all of the selections and the options are within a form, and all of the options are within selection tags, and they have IDs for country, state, city, and zip code. Also, the size being assigned as one. The value is always empty, and the, uh, and the state of selected is equal to selected. Okay, so that's basically it for HTML. Uh, back to the CSS, the selections, as you can see here, they just have some generic styling to it, nothing special. And we can now close everything up, actually the, C the CSS file. And now let's go back to our HTML file and let's include a JavaScript file. So script, source, and main.js. You can call it whatever you wish. Now let's go back and also create it, main.js. And let's go back to our blog post because I have here the dummy data. So... Right where it states database, you can just copy in this object. And this object is just a general, and I actually want to call it const. Uh, just, just an object, country, state, info, where it's going to have the US and Germany. Basically, again, this is an object, and this object contains another object with California and Texas, and this contains then a couple of strings and key value pairs. Okay, so pretty simple stuff. We have everything set up. We can now start by creating a loader function. Now this loader function, let me actually close everything up. This loader function will load as soon as the page loads. Now let's create here a to-do. I'm using better comments as an extension. You just go to the extensions tab. Just go to the extensions tab and uh, search for better comments. Okay, so let's create, uh, let's call this loader function and as the name states is going to load everything when the windows loads so let's go ahead select the windows object and say on load okay th this is basically saying uh add event listener and the listen and the event is a load event okay so on load just means the same thing now we're going to assign this to a function 
and this function is everything that we need for the project because as soon as this loads it's going to do a couple of things first things first is going to select all of the dom elements that we need and what we do need are all of these selections or all of these options now each of these options have a ids and we're going to select them by their ids but i'm going to use query selector so let's get started with the first one let's call this const country selection and i'm going to assign this to the document use query selector and i'm going to select in a string and a hash the country id okay now i could do another const and call it state selection but i'm not going to do this i'm just going to delete the const and instead of the semicolon here i'm just going to add a comma sign now i'm going to assign this to the document dot query selector and select the next id which will be state okay and this actually works so you can actually select multiple or assign multiple variables by using comma instead of declaring them as const they're all going to be variables with uh, the const keyword but i am going to use the but i'm not going to explicitly assign a const to them okay now let's do the next one and the next one i'm just going to add here commas and this will be the city let's change this to city and the last one will be zip selection and let's change this to zip okay pretty simple now let me also demonstrate this by just console logging one of them country selection let's open up the console let's go to the console uh, let me replace this down here and it there we go okay we just selected it one if we want to select the next one state selection then we just select the state selection okay so this is working i'm going to leave this console log in here okay next up we need to disable all of the selections as you saw <clears throat> sorry about that in the finished project when we have our initial state is uh well everything is grayed out we can we need to select something first and then the second one will appear and then the third one will appear and so forth and so on okay so the way we do this because in, in right now we can select each one of them the way we do this is by assigning them the disable state and we're going to assign them and we're going to tell that the disable state is true so we need to select the very well the second one the state and then assign to this a disabled and i'm going to set this to true okay as you can see the state is now disabled now i'm just going to repeat for all three of them and do the same thing for the next one and the next one hit save and this should or did it disable it uh i cannot property of null oh because i forgot to add here and there we go now it's working i forgot to add that this should be a id Okay, so we have everything disabled. You see, we just select the state, city, and zip code and assigned the disabled state true to them. Now, the next thing that we need to do is load the countries. So the very first thing will be the countries that need to be loaded. And we're going to use a for in loop for this. So let's go ahead, create a for, open and close parenthesis, let country, and it's going to loop in I was going to loop in here in the country state information because this is where our database is situated. So let's paste it in here. And let's say that when our country selections dot options, and this is actually a array. So I could target the array and go within it and select from it its length. And now I'm going to assign it to a new option. And the new option is actually just a constructor that creates a new HTML options element, okay? Now, it can hold up to four optional arguments, like, new, like the new option text, the value, the default selected, and if it's selected or not, because if we take a look in an option, you can see we have the value, we have the state of selected or not, and it's text, okay? So, we are going to pass within our first option, the country, and again, also the country as a text. Okay, and if we hit save, now take a look in our country, you can see US and Germany just has been loaded. Okay, next up, we need to change the country. So we're going to remain within our Windows loader option. So everything is happening in this Windows loader option uh, function. Okay, now let's go down here and let's actually type in a comment here. Let's type in another to do. This would be the state change. Let's get change the state we want to change the state depending on the selected country 
So let's add a, a, um, a se select or select state or state selection, and let's add a on change event listener to it. Remember, we are in a form. Okay, I'm going to use here error function. We're going to send in here a event, and this event will first of all take the city selection dot disabled, and we're going to set this to false because we need to activate our state selection. So as soon as we select one, it should activate this. Next, we're going to take our city selection dot length, and we're going to reset its length to one. Now, I forgot to tell you that actually this part we need to repeat up here after we have everything disabled in order to reset all of the selections. So I'm going to reset. Let's type in here to do to do. And let's call this clear all options from state selection. And we're going to repeat this for the city selection. Uh, so the state selection, and city selection, and this one and also for the zip selection. Okay, so everything is reset. And the next step will be to reset the zip code zip selection also reset one and now again now again we're just going to copy this loop which is going to be in this function and we're going to target the city this time we're going to loop again the country state info but this time we need to target the country selection dot value and from here the e the event dot target dot value now instead of country selection we're going to replace this with city okay but before we select our states we need our countries so let's go up here before the states and let's create another to do and let's type in here country change uh, it's basically the same thing as for the state selection so i'm just going to copy this and change the country so the country selection on change is going to set the state selection to true actually to false so basically when i select one then it should set the country selection to true. Here is where I'm going to cut this out. This is in here where the general reset is going to take place. Then we're going to loop through all of the states. State is state in country info and don't need this part. And when the, when the loop is taking place, we're going to select each state selection dot option. And within here, the state selection options dot length and we're going to add here a state okay so the name of state and the option of state so this should work if i select us then this should so now if i select the us and now i can select california or texas and if i select germany then i can select bavaria or hessen okay and you can see automatically the so the next selection the city is activated because of this right here so the last thing that we need to do is change the city so let's copy this, go down here, change to city. Let's reset this to city. So the city selection is where we're looking for the change now. This right here. And when this change is happening, then we're going to enable the zip selection. Now going to be set to false. So let's just go through this. California, Los Angeles, and now this is selectable. We're going to reset the zip selection to one. Now let's create a variable called zips. We're going to assign this to the country state info and from here the country selections dot value. Okay, and from here we're going to select the state selection dot value. Now we're not done yet because we still need to select the, the selected target. So e dot target and dot value. So this is just basic DOM navigation. Now let's go down to a for loop and actually I'm not going to use a for in loop but a regular for loop. Change this to four and let's create a let and let's say that i is equal to zero. And as long as i is less than the zips dot length, then we're going to start iterating i. Okay, now let's go over our zip selections dot options. And within here, let's select the zip selections dot options and dot length. And again, we're going to assign this to a new option object, which is going to take in the zip i and again the zip and the i okay and this should now work so let's select us let's select california from here los angeles and we can hey this is not working so because we this should be zips not zip and let's try this again so us california los angeles and it's still not working what about 
California, I mess something up. Also here zips. Cannot read property of undefined California. Just a second. Oh, dot value, not values. Okay, let's try this one more time. US, California, Los Angeles, and there we go. Okay, so pretty simple project. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please give this video a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And see you next time.